Hello, my name is Chu King Yuan. I'm in grade 8, class 8A. I'm studying at Langham Secondary School in Nansen District, Bakka Province. Now I'll give a presentation on the school topic, on the social topic, that is school violence. By the mass media, we can know that school violence still appears at many schools. It has become a serious issue in many parts of the world. School violence has hit many, many types, like physical, verbal, emotional abuse, and cyber bullying. Because of them, students might be affected by negative physical, emotional, and academic well-being. For example, a student could be scared when they have to go to school or could have some unexplained injuries, as well as have mental problems like depression or autism. In some cases, they even try to commit suicide as a way to free themselves from school violence. It is also an illegal act. And students who are bullies may have deviant thoughts and distorted personality. And that can make them to bad people in the future. The case of the case of school violence are complex and it can include personal, social and cultural factors. Because of that it might it might not it might impact not only the victim, but also the school community. In the school community, including teachers, staff, and other students, students should have solutions to limit school violence by educating students about the harmful effects of it prioritize prioritize creating safe environment for students through policies programs and practice parents and caregivers could also help prevent school violence by promoting positive communication and values with their children. <laughs> Indeed, school, school violence might always be exist and we should accept that school violence will never completely disappear. But we, sh but we can work together to limit and prevent school violence. And that's all of my presentation about school violence. Thank you for listening.